Welcome back, everybody. A new trading week is about to begin, so it's time to check in on the price action of Theta, and I'll take a look at T Fuel. All right, everyone, let's get straight to it. Theta up on the daily chart. And Theta continues to grind its way up higher, living above this 10 simple moving average. Bulls front running that 10 simple every single time the price action reaches for it, noted by these wicks here. And uh, overall, that's very strong trending behavior uh, as, as, as Theta makes its way to the upside. I see a little bit of fake out action here as this candle shot up above the liquid zone and price action has now re-entered that. So I'm going to be looking down to this 10 simple moving average, which is coming in around $3.43. And being that there's a whole bunch of daily candle body closures going on inside this liquid zone, it is now fair to say that this needs to be adjusted so let's see if i can move this beauty up a bit right here like that looking good all right so that's the new liquid zone coming in with the bottom side at three dollars and seventy cents and the top side coming in at three dollars and ninety six cents Dropping down to the momentum. Uh, the RSI looks like it, well, it's still in the bullish control zone. That's an overall great thing. And the exponential moving average still has a positive slope, also living with inside the bullish control zone. So perhaps Theta wants to test this exponential moving average sometime early this week. And I'm going to be looking for it to try to find support alongside that. If the RSI finds support along that exponential moving average, that's going to be a very good look for the bulls. Also notable, I don't see any major divergences present here as Theta grinds its way up higher. And literally, is just, as far as I'm concerned, this is building pressure for a pretty big move to the upside when Theta is ready to do that. So if Theta starts closing those daily candle bodies above this purple liquid zone with the top side coming in at $3.96, confirming it as a legitimate SR flip, so former resistance becoming future support, then I think that's when Theta is going to offer up its next major leg to the upside. If Theta grinds its way down and closes a daily candle body below that 10 simple moving average, that could be a potential change in behavior as it hasn't done so in quite some time. And what I'll be looking for, if and when that happens, is likely a test of this horizontal here coming in around three dollars and 17 cents getting daily candle body closures below that then likely a test of the 21 which at the time of recording is coming in around three dollars and four cents and will be rising quickly with each daily candle body close and we'll be getting a daily candle body closure in about four hours and uh, I, I will be very interested to see how it interacts with that 21 because anything opening and closing daily candle bodies above that 21 as a rule of thumb i am typically bear or bullish no matter how i feel about the overall sentiment in the market so things still looking constructive as far as I'm concerned with Theta as it grinds its way up higher and those will be my conditions to the upside and those are my conditions to the downside and that's what I'll be paying attention to throughout this week. Uh, down below in the MACD, MACD is signaling a little bit of a lost momentum here on the on this island of histogram as the moving averages are converging upon one another but there's no signals here. Uh, overall just looking to cool off and as as the candle bodies, I mean to me price structure is always king so as these uh, as these candle bodies continue to close you know just below our new liquid zone here overall that's 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 quite strong. I mean, we're going to have to see how the overall market behaves. Uh, you know, as long as Bitcoin doesn't dump on us and the rest of the market, then I don't see any real reason for Theta to have any massive moves to the downside. But of course, I've set my conditions in place. And if those conditions are met, my emotions will be on the, on the sidelines and I'll just be looking to those areas of interest. And uh, down below here in the stochastic, stochastic's crashing to the downside, but they do that little swervy thing here as uh, as assets like to trend to the upside. So nothing actionable down below there. So Theta, Theta's still looking good to me right now. Uh, we'll just have to see how it comes into this this week. But of course, those conditions are in place. T Fuel up on the two day chart. So going back to my last analysis, very briefly, I was saying that so long as T-Fuel is closing those two-day candle bodies above that top Bollinger Band, that I'll be just looking for more continuation to the upside. You can see down on this two-day candle body right here, it resolved the liquid zone on good volume down below, getting above that moving average, as well as taking out the, a lot of the volume read that came before it and closing above that top Bollinger Band, a crap load of confluence here. Since then, t fuel has gone on to continue to close those two-day candle bodies above that top Bollinger Band. Even this red candle right here, closed above that top Bollinger Band. Now think about all the people that were calling that a top and got out of their position at that point in time. Now I gotta say, if they were accumulating in here and they were just taking a trade, well, congratulations to you. You caught yourself a very nice trade and you can never beat yourself up for cashing out in a profit when markets make those available to you. In my experience, taking profits is one of the hardest things to learn how to do as these markets are very emotionally driven. Nobody wants to get left behind. FOMO, it's a thing. So, you know, if you got a profit and you got out down here, I salute you. I mean, congratulations to you. Most people don't know how to do that. They'll ride these parabolic rises to the upside and they'll hold on the way up and they'll hold on the way down. They'll become, in some cases, they become millionaires on paper and then they give it all back. And that can be much worse. So don't beat yourself up. However, the point is, is that, that that candle body closed above that top Bollinger Band and look what happened in the next two-day trading session. Jack and the Beanstalk shows up, shish kebabbing everybody. 
leaving them in emotional ruin as T-Fuel makes its real moves to the upside. So that's why I never call tops. I mean, I've just learned over time, don't call tops. Instead, I've learned how to develop uh, rules and, and conditions. That's why you always hear me talk about if this, then that. I always have an if this and that strategy to the upside, to the downside. It keeps me away from a plenty of emotional ruin. I mean, you can never completely escape that. There's always going to be emotions involved when it comes to trading and putting your money at risk. But I'll tell you, it helps me leaps and bounds and keeps my emotions out of things more often than not, which is quite, uh, which is quite soothing to say the least. Now, since my last analysis, uh, T Fuel did make a move to the downside here, and a lot of people were calling this a major correction that the, the top was in. But look what T Fuel actually did. It came down and tested the, that top Bollinger Band, and what happened? Well, bots, algos, informed traders were waiting right there at the time of recording to buy at price action, and now here we go. Uh, the trading day still has three and a half hours remaining, and it not only is T Fuel looking to close another two day candle body above that top Bollinger Band, but also above this candle body that came before it. Yes, there's some nasty wicks coming in right here, right now, as people are speculating what the top's in and taking profits off the table, but I'm sticking to my guns. Until I see that two day candle body closure below that top Bollinger Band, I'm not gonna be looking for a major correction. Now, I, that, let's be clear, I do think a correction will happen. It, it, it just does. If this two-day two candle body closes up above this, I'm going to continue to look for, for continuation. Gets that two-day candle body closure below that top Bollinger Band, then here's, here's what I'm trying to say. That's where there's a change of behavior between the buyers and sellers. So anyways, at the time of recording, it looks like TVO is going to close another two-day body <laughs> above this, above that top Bollinger Band, and I'll be looking for continuation as the name of the game. T fuel could it correct this week? Sure, it could at any given point. But again, I think I've beat this horse long enough. I'll be looking for that two-day candle body closure below that, and then we'll see what T fuel does from there. Drop down the RSI. It is getting nuclear, but there's no major divergences to be um, to be aware of at this point in time. Let's just bring this up here. Technical double top, perhaps. But let's. Uh Let's look. <laughs> Too much time's lapsed. I, I do not look at that as any form of divergence. I don't even look at that as a technical double top. Look at all these candles. Like, nope, 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 nope. Dropping down to the stochastics. The stochastics fresh cross the downside, but it is notable that T Fuel continues to march its way up higher as the stochastics do that, which to me is a healthy sign. They look to be cooling off. And remember, range bound indicator. But we are in an uptrend, so that's just looking great. MACD down below, the moving averages are still rifling to the upside, and uh, <laughs> this histogram continues to look great. So anyways, you guys, that's what I'm looking at for, for T-Fuel. I am not going to be the one that calls the top. Yep, scary wicks, but living above that ball in your band. So uh, I'm staying in, everybody, for now. When that two-day candle body closes below that, then I'll be looking for making my next uh, decisions from there. Maybe a test of this liquid zone coming in around the not point not six four cents. Anyways, I've babbled long enough. Thank you so much for coming by and checking out this video. I hope you're doing well out there. I'm hoping that this thing continues to go to the upside because I want to see you guys get paid. And until I see you in the next video, have yourselves a powerful day.